Another group of functions that we often deal with in Excel are the text functions, which are helpful to manipulate and handle text type of data. So before I begin, let me just delete these information. We don't need them anymore. And now let's say, and I'm going to save my document now. And now let's say I want to count the number of hours worked by each employee every month. And I want to also show the name of the employee right next to our new table that we're going to build. So instead of copying the employee names and pasting them here, I'm going to, you know, we can use formulas to bring them in too. So before we do that, let's use some simple formulas that deal with text information. So if we want to calculate the number of characters in a text string, we can use the LEN function, which stands for the length and LEN open brackets. And we need to tell where the text is and close. Okay. So what we have done here is counted the number of characters in this cell, which is D dot space, three characters, and then five characters in the name double. So totally eight. And I can just copy the cells. And now this will give me the number of the length of each of these names or the number of characters in the names. And obviously, G dot space Michael is the longest string or the longest name that we have. So the next function we can study is called trim. So I'm going to tap in trim. And trim is a function that just that removes all the unnecessary spaces. So for example, removes all the spaces from a text string except for single spaces between words. So here we have a single space here, but this is between words. So this trim function will not remove this space, but if you have any padded spaces at the end, so let's try that and see how Excel handles it. I'm going to go to cell A3 and I'm going to type some spaces and then hit enter. And when I come here, I only have the cells content without the extra spaces. How do I know that? I can just copy this and paste as values and go here in this cell and see there are no spaces after L. But if I am here, I see spaces after L. And this is where trim function can be helpful. Often you receive data from other sources where there may be a lot of spaces unnecessarily padded. And this is very common when you're dealing with different data sources. And trim function can be very effective in removing the blanks at the end or at the beginning. And it still leaves the blank. It keeps the blank between the two words because those are valid blanks between words. But towards the end, extra spaces or at the beginning, lots of extra spaces, um, a trim function will be able to remove that. Now let's delete this. And um, let's say we want to bring in the name without the initials and the space. And one function that may be helpful here is the function called R-I-G-H-T, which returns the specified number of characters from the end of a text string. So we want to get the last section of the name here, but we need to tell Excel how many characters should it bring. So for example, write, open brackets, select the cell, and we need to tell Excel how many characters should it be bringing from the end of the cell. So here for Rahul, there are five characters here. So let's bring five and hit enter. And Excel actually didn't bring anything. This is interesting. Excel didn't bring anything because if you remember, we padded spaces at the end of word Rahul. So if I go here and delete all the spaces, 
And now Excel brings back the last five characters in this cell. And let me drag it. And last five characters in Nisha is Nisha. But here in Anjali, there are six characters and we only instructed Excel to bring back only the last five. And so we were not successful in bringing the entire name. So the right function is not going to help us here. Similar to the right, there is also the left function where it will actually bring the characters from the beginning of your text string. So in this case, if I do left A3, which is this cell, comma five, so it will bring the first five characters, D dot space R A, that's five characters. So Excel will bring them five. And it's very clear, this is also not gonna be very helpful. So let's delete them again. And let's think of other ways we can get it. So we want to find out first where the name actually begins. And you can see here that there is a pattern. The name begins after a dot and followed by a space. So let's find where the space happens here. And again, this is very, very specific to the data that you're dealing with. And you have to be very careful and um, make sure that you understand the different types of data you have in your data set before you apply any kind of searching function. But in this data set we have, we have space between the names. So I'm going to use that in my logic here and I'm going to search for space. So find, find space, which is double quotes, space, double quotes, comma, so we're asking Excel to find a space within text, within this text, A3, comma, and where do you want it to start? So it's an optional thing. If you don't type in any number, Excel is going to start from the beginning. So I'm going to say that's fine. So tell me where space is found. And Excel is giving me a number. And that's because this function returns the location or the position of where it found the space here. So D is the first character, dot is the second character, and then the third character is space. And that's what Excel is telling us. I found space in the third position in the string. And this is great because this is where we found the space, so I'm going to write it down and then we can copy the formula here. And from third, we want to calculate all the cells. We want to bring the rest of the information from the string. So let's type in the length and we already learned len of this and this is eight for first name and then Michael has 10 characters. So what we really need is to start pulling in the data from wherever we found space, start from the next character and go until the end of the cell. So we can do this using a function called mid med which returns the characters from the middle of a text string given a starting position and length. So we need to give Excel, where do I want to start extracting data? So first thing is, which text are we dealing with? Which tells, which text are we first pulling the data from? And then comma, start number is, where should I actually start extracting? So we already, talked about the space being in the third position here, and we want to start from the next position. So space plus one. So in this case, three plus one will be four, and four is nothing but R here in this. So we want to do space plus one, comma. How many characters should I be bringing in? 
So in this case, for example, after the space, there are five characters and you can get that by taking the length, the entire length of the string minus where space appears because only after space you get the name. So I'm going to do eight minus three, that's five. So in this case, five characters beginning from fourth character. And let's first complete this formula and see what comes back. So this is great, right? It works for Rahul. Let's see if it works for other names as well. Wow, so this worked fine. Anjali had six characters, but that also worked out fine. Michael has totally 10 in the length and that works fine too. So this formula is an example of how we can use a function which brings in or extracts a specific substring or a specific set of characters from a larger string. And we implemented this formula by using two intermediate formulas. And this can be actually implemented all in one cell where we will actually be using this mid function and we will use the len function and the find. All these three functions can be put into one formula and that might look a little bit more intimidating and complicated. So I'm going to not go there, but I want you to know that we can actually put multiple functions in the same formula as well. But in order to illustrate how we can actually combine two different functions, let me illustrate and edit this formula here. We already have a way of finding out the name without initials and spaces. Now, if I want to say, instead of Rahul, if I wanted to say, respected Rahul. So I can easily do that using another function, which is called concatenate. I'm going to type in concatenate. And you can see here that Excel tells me concatenate joins several text strings into one text string. So this is a, a very common thing that you would need. So concatenate, I opened parenthesis. And the first thing I wanted to type in is respected space, close double quotes, and comma. So what I'm telling Excel is my first text is respected space, and then I want this name for which we already calculated using this formula. And I'm going to close this function, and I'm going to hit enter. And now we can see that this formula has multiple functions and it is also relying on cell reference, which have their own functions. So this is a good example of how we can actually build nested and more you know, intelligent and more complex and complicated functions and formulas in order to get what we need. So this is one of the strengths of Excel where the, there, is, there is no limit to what you can achieve by combining functions and formulas and operators to get to the information that you need. So I can easily double click this to copy the formulas. So now I get respected in front of all the names. Now for the final function in our text functions would be replace. So let's say I want to replace a specific part of a text string with a different text string. So replace old text would be this comma start number. I want to start from the first comma number of characters. So here respected has three, six, nine, nine characters are respected. So I'm going to type in nine. So what this does is that the first nine characters in the in this text will be replaced with the new text. And I'm going to type in, let's say, for example, dear space and close it. So I expect now this respected word to be replaced with dear. There you go. 
their power. And I think I made a mistake by adding an extra space here. So I don't need the space here. And you can see here now we have dear Rahul, dear Nisha. So basically we have replaced this string respected with dear using a very simple formula and using this replace function. 